All right, welcome back to part uh, or unit four, uh, part two for us. Uh, this week we're going to be looking at the teenagers meme uh, text generator, count by seven, and better sum projects. Uh, they're, they're not too bad that we're going to be looking at for loops and uh, if statements and if else's. Um, so yeah, let's jump right in. All right, so we're going to be looking at this unit 447 um, teenagers problem. So we're going to be checking to see utilizing the, um, the, the parts for our and statement because we need to make sure that we are between the ages of 13 and 19. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in here. All right, so we already know that we need to read in a variable. So we're going to create a variable called age. We're going to set that equals to a read line, which is going to take input and prompt uh, the user to, for their age. So we're going to go, what is your age? Question mark space. I'm going to hit that right there. Now I always try to put a two spaces in between. Um, it helps out later on. Uh, you can also put a comment up here. Ask for age of student or person. Um, now we can also go and jump into a new function. We could also leave this out as a separate one. I can show you guys both, um, which isn't too hard to do. All right, so let's build this. So we're gonna be looking for this if statement. So if we're gonna be checking age, we need to make sure it's greater than or equal to 13 and the double ampersand symbol and age is less than or equal to 19. Okay, that gives us our, our age in between. Okay, and if they are true, if both of those end up true, print line, and we go quote, yes, you are a teenager. Okay. Now we do need to have an else statement, okay? Bring that in, okay? Because we want to notify them whether or not they are not a teenager. No, you are not a teenager. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and check this out. What is your age if we go 13? Yes, you are a teenager. Run this code again. 19. 20. No, you're not. All right. Okay. Now, if you want to take this a step further, we can go ahead and bring this out into another function. So we can go function. Confirm age. Okay. And we're going to pass in a variable called my age. Okay. And we're going to take this if statement, we're going to cut it from here. And we're going to place it down below and we're going to replace age with my age because that's the variable used within the function. Okay. So if we go confirm. Oh, yeah, confirm. age and we pass age here okay what's going to happen is is we're still reading the line age here okay we're going to the function called confirm age okay we're bringing in our variable age here and inside of this function we are using my age out instead of just age so if we pass 13, we still see that, 15, 20. All right, you need our check code. Oh, you must use a read int, true. We should be using a read int on there because it is an interval. Okay, we hit that check again and there we are, okay. Most students usually run into an issue where they have just this as a URA 
teenager, uh, but notice that that does not work on this. Okay, so you need to make sure that formatting is right and have it say, yes, you are a teenager. Once you have that done, go ahead and hit submit and continue on your work. All right, so everybody enjoys this classic of one right here. Exercise 454 is the meme text generator where we need to repeat uh, the same text on 50 random images. Don't worry, we're not going to have to bring in images for that either. Um, but what it wants you to do is just get it to where text is printed out on a, on a, on a 50 images. Okay. Um, good thing is we have the text provided that they want us to use. Okay. And we just need to use a loop to repeat that 50 times. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a for loop. Okay. We're going to use that variable I. Set that equal to zero. Semicolon. I is less than 50. Semicolon. And then increment I. We're going to get into that. And we're going to print line. We're going to take that quoted text. Oh, it's from the last problem we just did. We take that, copy this in here. Now it's going to already have those quotes in there, so we're going to delete those textual quotes. We're going to put that at the finish over here. We're going to run that code, see what happens. Oh. We have a print, print, then run that code. Look at that. All right. You can check to see that that's printing 50 times. We hit that check mark right there and we can hit submit and continue and be done with this project. All right. So we're looking at exercise four, six, five count by sevens. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a loop and then we want it to count by sevens until it's either equal to or greater than 500. Okay. So we're going to jump back to that great and useful for loop right here. So we're going to go four. Okay. Four. Man, that variable I is getting work today. I is less than 500. Now this is where we get into a little bit of a change. Okay, usually we do the plus plus word, which increments by one. Okay. What, what we want to do is we want to have it increment by seven. Okay. Now we can do this as go, we go plus equals seven. Okay. Throw that group out there and we go print Lin I. Let's check that out. Look at that, we have 0, 7, 14, to so on and so forth, all the way through. We can add our check code right there. Okay. So it's expecting this result to come out like this. Perfectly fine. It's a little bit off. Um, there's also other ways that we could do this uh, up here. We, we could uh, change that a little bit. Um, within this, we could create it to where uh, we have i is equal to that, and then we multiply it out. Um, there's also other ways that we can change and adjust it. But for right here, for this project, this is what we're looking for. All right, so we're in exercise 474, better sum. So what we're looking at doing is, is being able to take two numbers that the uh, uh, person inputs and then make a loop that loops in between all of those and counts up from there. Okay. So we're looking for basically a minimum and maximum and counting all of the numbers in between. Okay, so you can see right there, they're looking for six and eight. Six plus seven plus eight is 21. All right, so when we first start off, we're gonna need uh, two variables. We'll actually end up needing three. Um, so we're gonna go var, we're gonna need a sum variable. And we're gonna initialize that as zero. Var, and we're gonna go var, so variable, we're gonna go num1. Uh, for the first number, we're going to start that uh, with that read uh, int, meaning that we're looking for a read integer. We're going to go, what is the first number? 
do you want to count from? I'm going to go over there, hit that, there we go, var num2, read int. Now remember, because we are reading in a number, we want to do an integer, okay? What is the second number? Needs to be higher than, higher or equal to the first number. Okay, we're gonna hit there. All right, so now we're gonna build that for loop here. Um, and this for loop is gonna be able to take those numbers and uh, count in between them, okay? So we're gonna put in four. Now our i value is instead of gonna start at zero, okay, we're actually gonna start at num one, okay? And we're gonna go i is less than or equal to num two, because that's where we want it to end at, okay? And we're just gonna have i increment up by one get our brackets and now we're going to use our sum plus equals i and then outside of that we're going to use that print lin outside of that for loop we're going to print lin and we're going to print lin sum all right let's run this code right here let's see how we get okay so if we go they would did six and eight so we should end up oh man Let's see what happened. Did we get our number? Hmm. It doesn't look like we got our number there. Okay. So let's see if we can figure out what happened here. So we had our variable coming in, variable i. i is equal to our num1. It should be 6. Okay. And we should be getting a plus. Oh, plus equals not equal plus. Plus equal. Good job, Mr. G. Six plus eight, 21. There we go. All right, now let's hit our check code to see if there's any type of formatting that we need. Nope, looks like it should be the sum from four to eight. They're expecting 30. And then look at that, so if it's one to one, that looks good for us. So if somebody was to put in one to one and it would count out at one. All right, so this should be the finishing touches for our uh, part two. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys in part three to finish off this unit.